Hey guys, uh, I wasn't going to do another video until I saw this last gentleman do a video and I've been meaning to give him a great big shout out because I'll tell you what, I have been enjoying this guy's content. Man, it's, it's, it's really good content, man. I'll tell you what. And he goes by the channel name Last Chance Knives. Now, I've been following along with his videos uh, pretty good now. And um, he, he has some really, um, he puts out some videos that are very informative. Uh, that's, that's basically where it's at. He showed you how to uh, center and fix case knives. And I encourage every last one of you, if you have not seen that video, because we have all ran into that centering problem with our knives, um, our case knives specifically, blade centering, uh, uh, blade wobble. Um, he shows you how to fix that knife and make it almost perfect. And I watched a lot of videos before on blade centering and all that other stuff. And I still couldn't figure it out. But there were a couple things that I was doing wrong. And they were key things as far as what hammer you have to use on tapping that pivot. Um, and after you tap the pivot, the pivot kind of pops up, pops out. And I could never figure out what to do to remedy that. And um, he showed you how to go through the progressions with the sandpaper and the grits and sand that bolster. And I never just thought of it, you know what I mean? And I should have known that, but I didn't. I just didn't. And he shows you how to go through the progressions and sanding that bolster and making that pivot real nice and smooth and you can't even see where it popped out where that uh pivot if you got if your pivot showing through on the bolster you should try sanding it you'll get rid of that right away if you're you know if you want to do that anyway last chance knives you have to check him out if you're not subscribed to him also he just did a video this morning he makes knives um custom knives and he made a knife, he showed a knife that he made this morning on one of his videos. Check his newest video out. And that prompted me to show this piece. Um, it's Fixed Blade Friday too, so why not? It's one of my favorite knives I ever carried in my life. It's an LT Wright piece. Um, and this is the Little Northern Hunter. And he made a knife. He made his knife very, very similar to this one. Very similar to this one. He made, um, he, it, and I love the Canadian belt knife. I just, I haven't got one because they're expensive. A Canadian belt knife is like 200 bucks. Um, but he made a fixed blade. Um, he made it smaller, I'm sorry. He made a Canadian fixed blade that's smaller. Normally, those Canadian fixed blades are bigger, um, and they do have a different shape, but he put he put a twist on his. I can't explain it, but it looked kind of like this. It looked kind of like this one here, um, and uh, this is one of my favorite knives. This is one of my favorite knives. I mean, this thing just... Oh, this full flat grind and the way this blade is shaped. Um, as far as cutting goes, oh man, I'm telling you, this thing in your hand, you got, it's just, oh my God. It's very, it's a very, very good knife. Um, it's one of the best EDC fix blades um, that I have found because I search out. EDC fixed blades. I like to carry or I like the EDC a fixed blade because once you start carrying an EDCing a fixed blade, it's hard to go back to a folder. One of these guys up here. 
I'm telling you, they're stronger. Um, they just, you know, you're not going to hurt a fixed blade, right? Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give him a shout out mostly, uh, for, for the wonderful content that he's put me out. I mean, he's teaching me a lot of stuff, man. He's taught me a couple good tricks and tips and, um, I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Um, now I'm doing a little, uh, collaboration with him. I wasn't going to say anything, but, um, we're working on a little something, uh, him and I, as far as, uh, that's going to be, I'm trying to give, I'm trying to uh, get something off him for my giveaway, for my giveaway. So, yeah, that's pretty impressive, man. Um, you know, uh, to get a, a custom little fix blade off him. So, like I said, I'm still trying to get all my little, uh, I'm trying to gather up all my little eggs right now for this giveaway. So, um, so that's it. But, um, as far as this, back to this knife, as far as this knife goes, uh, you will find that you, it will be hard for you to, um, find a better cutter. I'm sorry, guys. My mind is listening to something else downstairs. It's so hard to concentrate sometime, man. Um, it's just an excellent it's just a really excellent, you could see the blade stock, the blade thickness on this. Look at that blade thickness. I mean, it's good. See how it just tapers down to that point here? Right down. Look at that. Boom. And this has fantastic steel. This is in AEBL steel. Um, another thing that I like about um, Last Chance Knives, his, his content he likes to work with O1 tool steel too. So I, that's like my favorite steel on a fixed blade. That's why I chase and I have so many of those battle horse knives. I've got a, uh, I don't know, I probably got about 10 of them now uh, of his uh, battle horse knives and I just love them for that O1 tool steel. But, um, I just wanted to show you this. You know what I mean? I don't know. I think I may have showed this one before. Um, I've got quite a few fixed blades in there. But this one, um, just when I saw him do that video, I was like, oh, man, I got to show this knife to show this to him um, and to you guys. <laughs> but um, do you guys um, uh, know what this knife is? Have you ever seen this style or this shape knife? This leaf, it's like a leaf shape, isn't it? Like, I, I think it looks like a leaf shape knife, right? And uh, what do you guys think about AEBL steel? This thing is just, oh man, you get some of these steels, man, it just blows your mind. It really does. And this is another one that AEBL steel is just, Gosh darn, man. I don't know. Let's give you a look at that. Those grind lines are so beautiful in there. I love grind lines, man. I love, love, love grind lines. I just think it looks really, really beautiful. I really do. That blade is beautiful. It's beautifully done. The handles are beautifully done with this orange and black um, G10, it just looks beautiful, man. It feels real light, nimble in the hand. Um, you've got your finger choil right here, and it, 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 it's a good spot for your finger just to get right in there comfortably. I could get four fingers on there comfortably without no cramping. I'm not cramping my fingers on there. And any kind of cutting, it's just going to be fantastic. You've got this wonderful, wonderful sheath that they all, look at that leather sheath, man. Um, which we call it, uh, LT Wright makes some of the best sheaths, uh, out there. I mean, they just, pff, their sheaths are crazy, man. Their sheaths are, um, just, 
I can't even explain the way they do their sheaths, man. They're leather. Um, the only sheaths that are better than this one, these are um, the, um, uh, what is it? The uh, Bark River. Bark River uh, sheaths are amongst, to me, they are about the best um, sheaths that you can buy. Bark Rivers. I should have brought one out for a comparison, but I didn't know I was going to do this big in-depth thing with these uh, leather um, sheath. But I just wanted to show you this one. I'll put this in here. Hold on a minute. I don't want to cut my... Uh, this needs a coat of oil. This hasn't been out in a while, but there it is. Just give you a look at the whole uh, package on how that rides. Give you a look around it. Look how look how well that welt that welt's done. That welt is just fantastic. It's just unbelievable. It's it's just top quality. You know what I mean? You you can't really get too much better than this. You can't. There's nothing that you can do leather wise or. It is what it is, but um. Yeah, guys, try to EDC a fixed blade. I've got, maybe I could show you guys some fixed blades, rate some fixed blades, or I mean uh, some EDC fixed blades because they have to be a certain um, weight, size, uh, carryability uh, to me to make it an EDC knife, you know, because a lot of them aren't comfortable to carry. And if it's not comfortable to carry, you're not going to use it, right? You're not going to use it. Yeah. And um, I wanted to show you this too real quick. This is the new uh, old timers. And they are, this one here, this is my second one. I've got, I've got the older model. And now I got this model here. Um, it is just... This knife is awesome. I wanted to show you guys this uh, with the new badge. Look how nice and big that old timer um, uh, badge is on here. It's just awesome. That inlay is fantastic, right? Don't it look nice? Don't that look nice? Um, the fit and finish, that's what I wanted to show you guys. But I, was, I wasn't going to do this review right now, but I couldn't help it. Look at that fit and finish on this piece here. Now, they don't all don't come like that. I sent one of these back already. Um, but look how beautiful that fit and finish is. That is tight. There's nothing. There is absolutely nothing there, man. It looks so awesome. The blade, absolutely stunning. I love this blade, man. It just looks, no, it just looks really good. This whole piece just... Blew me away. I mean, for 20 bucks? <laughs> How you can beat that for 20 bucks, man? Come on. Really, though? Really? Yeah, I got a couple of these. This is going to be one uh, for the giveaway, too. I'm putting this one in the giveaway. Yes, I am. So, uh, this is uh, one of the pieces that are going in there. And it's a good, it's a good knife, you know what I mean? Especially for 20 bucks. Come on, man. But I just wanted to show you that. I'm still going to do a review on it. I just I just gave you a first. That We'll call that a first impressions. Anyway, you guys be good, be well, be safe. And don't forget, check Last Chance Knives out. You won't be disappointed. And uh, that's the end of it. Um, take care, guys. Be good, be well, be safe. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care.